Greetings family, Bomani Tamba here family, and we are still here in Ghana, and we just completed our Ghana Journey of a Lifetime, which is dated for May 24th to June 4th, or June 5th, which is the return date when people get back to the U.S. So our group that's returned are back in the U.S., and this is June 6th, and we're still here in Ghana, connecting, networking, we got my good brother here, and we're talking about the purpose of what we're building. The purpose of what we build in family is for our black children, the future of our world. You know what I mean? One thing about us as brothers and family, we have to be serious and get with black women. We can't be like these unapologetic Negro PN, literally getting with transvestites and things like that. Or, 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 women, or white women who already have children already and literally just, because that's not his children, right? No, no it's not his children. But as far as but I it know, is the, is the you wife, can't have children. She's transsexual. She's not a, it's not a woman, right? No, it's a transsexual. All right. It's a, so, it's a dragon. It, yeah, so unfortunately, family, we don't want any of those things around our community. Our community are for our black children, for black men and black women producing black children, straight black African nation building. For those who are out there that don't like it and have an issue with it, that's your business. You know, we're telling you do what you need to do, but we're going to do what we need to do because it's important that we as black men get with black women and produce black children and take care of black children. So we're heading to One Africa Resort again tomorrow. My little boy, Bomani Dakari, or big boy, he's 12 years old now, so he's gonna have a nice birthday party and all of the children right there on the resort, all black children, produced by black men and black women. So we're making it an example and saying family. We're not just talking about black power nation building. We're living the life, the life I live, when I travel and do business in Africa and go to places, we support black owned business. We work and build with our own people. And that's what we're about, straight up. So I'm telling you family, for those of you who literally want to see a future for our children, you support us building what we're building and understand that the others out there are not about us. If they were about us, they would live the life. So there's no faking about this. You're either about nation building and black power and about helping black people, work on black people, I got crews all over Africa. We have real estate operation going, tourist investment, all these things going. And we're letting you know, family, you can get with this. It's Africa for the African.org. And we will accommodate you and show you the best journey of a lifetime. And when we collect money for business or when we make business profits, our money literally go back into our own community and with our own people. You know, that's, that's what we're talking about, black power nation building. If you're talking about anything about black people and you're not willing to do the work, you're just talking to run your mouth. And if you literally feel like it's not your responsibility as a black man to produce black children and build with black people and take care of black people and support black people, then you're useless to us. You might as well be castrated and, you know, and tossed somewhere to where you, know, you literally need to be because you're useless as a man. So that's what we say in family and we're real about this. You know, we, can be, we can joke around and play around, but at the end of the day, the Indians, the Chinese, the Lebanese, and other people, they're putting their money together and they're dominating the world. And there's nothing that anyone could do about it unless you put our best people together. So right now, we're looking for real strong black men. Real strong black men that's gonna handle business and be about black people. And if you ain't about that, stay out the way because if you get in our way, we're gonna run you over. So unapologetic Negro PN and all you other coons out there that keep running your mouth about what I'm doing, you jealous, weak excuses, jealous, weak black males. You, there's nothing you can do to stop me. You can sit around and cheer on and do your best. I'm a warrior. I learned from what you wicked black devils have done to Marcus Garvey and other people. And we're here with it strong. I mean, family, it's a whole network of us across Africa. What you gonna do? What you gonna do other than hate and stay in your mama's basement and make videos about us in Africa doing our thing living, doing business, and networking. So family, once again, this is Bomani Tamba, live on Revolutionary Cam. And family, let everybody know, get with this, Africa for the Africans, which is about black empowerment and nation building. Or you can support the sellouts that the white devil literally invest in for them to come after us. Because most important lesson which understand family, Marcus Garvey was one of the greatest visionaries that we ever had in our history. A visionary that wanted to connect us to the African continent. And who destroyed them? Literally, the black devils, like the unapologetic Negro PN. These are worthless piece of trash. 
and any black person out there that's supporting this unapologetic nigger peeing coon, you are trash also and you should get rid of yourself because you are no good to us and our people. When I'm, all, when I'm in Africa, all I see is black children and black people. And if that's not enough for us to focus on it, we should be ashamed of ourselves, literally. So I still see some of you people supporting these fools out there and everything, keep on supporting them. Because what is gonna happen, family, is you're gonna be on the wrong side of history because nothing can stop our movement. The ancestors got us. Garvey is leading us in the vision for this 21st century. And everything that we have learned from all the things that I've done to our great brother and so on, we're literally using it as a way to stand strong. Yes, my brother, share some words, man. You know about Honorable Marcus Garvey. You know, as the t-shirt say, inspired by Marcus Garvey. And the reason why it's inspired by Marcus Garvey, because a great vision like that should never die. We should never let weak, useless black people like the unapologetic nigga and all these other coons out there. We should never let them stop us from doing what we're doing. And people, you have to understand, if you give these people money and, and support them, instead of telling their weak ass to go get a job and build a career and go get with a black woman and build a future, if you support them, you're supporting your own destruction. And if you support them, you're just supporting the reason why we don't have much of anything. You know, because so, everything that we have done and talk about family is investing in black business. We have shown you by driving around this country for the last 10 plus days and show you black owned enterprises that we have worked with for, you know, for a decade plus. Now, when, when we talk about black power nation building, it's real life. It's not that fake stuff that these people talk about. So family, once again, you can get with this or you can get with them. But ask yourself, what can they do for you? What can someone like the unapologetic nigga PN do for you other than give you a good laugh because he's a coon and, and a fool? People like ourselves, I've helped hundreds of people travel, live, do business, and invest in Africa. My track record speaks for itself. I've been traveling this African continent for 18 straight years. And I've invested my earnings from the Navy and my earnings from the airlines and invested in the business that we have here, Bomani Technology, Africa for the Africans, Black Star Pan-African community. And once we keep flipping profits, we're gonna build that black power community where we're gonna have our incredible enterprise, where we, have, where we have schools dedicated to where we can share the great knowledge of technology and business with our young generation so, so they, could be, they can compete with the likes of the nations that talk about it, or the people that talk about it, India, the Chinese, the Lebanese, and other nations. Because that's what it has to be, family. We have to get to the point where we organize ourselves, where we competing with everybody else and not buying into them and not trying to run around and chase their women and get with their women or sit around and begging them for you know for whatever they're offering. You know, we have everything that we need in this content. We've been showing everyone. And then with the land that we have, we can build what we need to build. Brother. Exactly. What you know, what brother, share some good words, man. Share some good words as far as this us nation building in Africa. Well, um, well you know the West is falling to pieces, so the best thing a black man can do come to Africa, invest, and be free, and live the life your ancestors had. So and if, that's the best thing for the black man and the black woman to come is to leave Babylon and come to Africa and help build Africa and, and be free. Here you have opportunities to invest and do whatever you need to do. In America, you will never be able to do anything because everything you do in America will be controlled, owned, and dominated by the white man. So come to Africa. It's the only way. Absolute family. That's it. Now, so since we can't build the black organized power that we want to build in America, we're going to do it in Africa because Africa is calling. And you know, you know, when I connected with the chief about all the land that we have, you know, it's been, it was very supportive. And when I explained to him what we we're building, and I told him that we literally can't build this black power town in America because the history of us building those things has been sabotaged be and black burnt Wall down. Street. You know, so we're here to do that in Ghana family and we're here to do that in Liberia, we're here to do that in the Gambia, we're here to do that in Tanzania, we're here to do that in many countries. So what we have done family is build an incredible foundation mm. under Africa for the Africans and Black Star Pan-African community where we are learning how to be developers and we're going to learn how to be producers. All that land we have, imagine us, us building our resorts, our factory, us uh, working the beach, building the docks, having ships, uh, transporting it, doing import, export, all of those things I've been we a vision of Garvey. A, want to build a resort in Jehazi, that's what we want to build do. Build a resort and then you know resort. you have your connection. The, the entire Caribbean islands are there, ships, airplanes. Now yes. there's no limitation family when you think about investing in Africa. The only thing that you have to understand 
is that that wicked mentality that we get from these places you know and whether it's america canada you know different parts of europe it has to go away and stop you are you as a black person are responsible for your own people you are responsible to make this happen you're responsible to find other people work with them and build a future for our children don't be on the wrong side of history don't be in a situation your children turn against you because you built nothing for them and all you did was run around and chase white women and run around and do some weak stuff. So family, it's all about black power, man, and we're coming strong. It's a whole network with us. Yeah. So when you're looking at these people out there running their mouth, look at what they're doing for you and then come at us and then look at what we're doing for you and look at what we're doing for our children. And if you give us a few years, you're going to see a whole enterprise in town. We're going to make it happen. Yeah. You see the vision, brother, right? Yes, we, we are promoting black men, black women, black babies equal black future and black success. That's what we're building. The simple thing, right? Yeah. We no. don't we don't believe We can't in build black power marriage. if we get with white and Asian no, women, you right? Can. No, you cannot. Yeah. So no one in my crew is allowed to get with any yeah. white woman or any Asian woman. It's what it is. If you got that on your mind, and, stay in America. And no one in my family is allowed to do that. Like stay you know, when I look UK, at my family, I have a black Canada. family. You no, know, everyone is married to a black man or a black woman and they literally have black children yeah, we don't, so we, we live don't in the light into our person we, we don't do that and we if you do you're a weak ass excuse or a man oh. so all you people out there supporting the unapologetic negro pian you're you're a weak excuse just like him because you have produced nothing for black people all you have done has been a pinnacle of destruction for black people look look at who the, look at who that fool come after he comes after black people you know, some of them, you know, some of them are trying. I gotta Jealous. give it to them. Jealous. Some of them are trying. That yeah. that's out there doing certain things. Have they made mistakes? I'm sure some of them have made mistakes. European mistake. would love to be here, but he just doesn't have what it takes to get here. Plus, he's already outcasted. He's, you know, he's in bed with the white devil. So what 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 more can you say? We talk about when we talk about nigger people. We talk about we're not talking about a specific person. We talk about black men who literally love white people. That's that's what we call a Negro Mental pian. illness. Whether they're in America, Europe, or places. It's mental illness. Yeah? So what we talking about is Negro peans. You know what I'm saying? We have this one fool called Unapologetic Negro Pian. So he's in that mix. But it's a bunch of them, brother. A bunch of them brothers, you know, to where they literally will sell our own people out for nothing. We'll literally go and just talk to their white devil friends and make it seem like, oh, black people are the problems in society. Yeah. Black people have been to the worst of the things that the world have ever seen. Slavery, colonization, oppression, depression. Jim Crow. Jim Crow. Uh, you, know, you name it. We're Redlining, you know red zoning, I mean? whatever. Everything. You know? And we're still here strong. And the fact that someone like myself, born in Kingston, Jamaica, is right here in Ghana, and I'm, you know, connecting to America, that shows you we're dedicated and we understand the situation and the struggles of people, but we are here to organize ourselves. And we're looking for some good brothers out there so all you brothers out there, that's about Black Power Nation building. I want to work together so we can create opportunities for ourselves, so we can live the life, enjoy the greater things in life, and for our children to be successful. Reach out to us, family, and let's connect. And for the investors out there that's looking to connect and want to do some business with us, we're real brothers and we talk real. And you know, and you know, unfortunately, we can't talk a bunch of fake stuff because we, what we have to do, we have to make this old business work. And like I said, family, been traveling to Africa for 18 years, been doing tourism investment. And now we have been expanded into our own community building. You know, so that's it family. So let's keep it real, let's keep it strong.